This is a list of launches made by ISRO using Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle (PSLV) rockets. Topic: Notable missions. Topic: PSLV Flight D1. This was the first developmental flight of the PSLV D1. The IRS-1E satellite which was proposed to be launched was derived from the engineering model of IRS-1A incorporating a similar camera and an additional German-built monocular electro-optical stereo scanner. Even though the mission was a failure, the launch team and an expert committee appointed thereafter noted that the mission had validated many technologies and that most sub-systems had performed optimally. PSLV Flight C2 In the flight sequence, IRS P4 was injected first, followed by KITSAT3 and DLR Tubsat in that order. The mission was supported by ISRO telemetry, tracking, and command network of ground stations located at Bangalore, Sriharikota, Lucknow, Mauritius, Bears Lake, Russia, and Bayak, Indonesia. During the initial phase of the mission the ground station at Wilhelm in Germany also provided network support. Upon injection of the satellites, data from the IRS-P4 was received at Hyderabad while KITSAT-3 data was received at the ground station in South Korea and the data from the DLR Tubsat was received at the University ground station in Berlin. PSLV Flight C6. The former president, Dr. Abdul Kalam, witnessed the launch from the Mission Control Center. It was the first PSLV launch from second pad, using integrate transfer and launch technology. After its integration in the vehicle assembly building, the PSLV C6 was transported on rails to the umbilical tower located one kilometer away using the mobile launch pedestal where the final operations were carried out. PSLV Flight C7 The following hardware changes were made since PSLV C6 First use of DLA dual launch adapter to launch two primary satellites in time Reduction of propellant from 2.5 ton to 2 ton in the fourth liquid propellant stage Incorporation of a video imaging system to capture payload and DLA separation events Altitude-based day of launch wind biased steering program during open loop guidance Removal of secondary injection thrust vector control system for one of the strap-ons ignited in the air <laughs> PSLV Flight C9 The fourth stage first fired Kyasar 2A into orbit at an altitude of 637 km about 885 seconds after lift off. About 45 seconds later, it propelled IMS-1 into the orbit. Then the six nano-satellites belonging to a cluster called Nanosatellite Launch System 4 were injected into orbit at intervals of 20 seconds each. NLS-5, a single satellite, flew out and finally the tenth satellite Rubin-8 went along with the fourth stage into orbit. Two satellites belonged to India and the remaining were nanosatellites built by universities in different countries. This was the maximum number of satellites placed in orbit, in a single PSLV launch. <laughs> PSLV Flight C-21 Launch attended by the former Prime Minister, Manmohan Singh. M Resin's mini redundant strap down inertial navigation system bolted to the vehicle's fourth stage, have tested avionics for future PSLV missions. With this launch, Indian Space Research Organisation marked its 100 space missions, with 62 satellites, 37 launch vehicles, and one space capsule recovery experiment. PSLV Flight C-22 
Earlier launch date for PSLV C-22 was fixed as 12 June 2013 AM, but the launch had been postponed because of a technical snag in the second stage. ISRO then replaced a faulty component in the PSLV C-22 rocket and rescheduled the flight of the IRNSS-1A satellite on it for 11.41 pm on 1 July 2013. PSLV C-22, successfully launched IRNSS-1A, the first satellite in the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System At the completion of the countdown, PSLV C-22 lifted off from the first launch pad at 2341 hours on 1 July 2013 with the ignition of the first stage and four strap-on motors of the launch vehicle. Topic: PSLV Flight C25. The Mars Orbiter Mission (MUM), informally called Mangalyaan, is a Mars orbiter that was successfully injected into Earth orbit on the 5th of November 2013 at 2:38 PM IST Time) atop a PSLV XL launch vehicle from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota, Shah. PSLV Flight C-29 PSLV C-29 lifted off from the first launch pad FLP of SDS Sea Shah at 1800 hours IST on 16 December 2015. It successfully deployed six satellites it carried with gross weight of 624 kg. After fourth stage engines were cut off primary payload TELEOS-1 was injected in orbit at about 18 minutes 12 seconds after lift off. This was followed by the deployment of other five satellites, namely Kent Ridge-1, VLOX C-1, VLOX-2, Galassia and ATHENOXAT-1 in quick succession in the subsequent three minutes 67 minutes into flight fourth stage re-ignition capability was demonstrated successfully by firing its engines for duration of nearly 5 seconds. This capability would enable multiple satellite deployment in varying orbits on same flight. <laughs> PSLV Flight C-34 PSLV C-34 was launched on the 22nd of June 2016 and successfully deployed 20 satellites in sun-synchronous orbit. A dual launch adapter with new design compared to its previous version was used to integrate all ride-sharing payloads with PS4. After completion of mission a pair of PS4 re-ignition tests were performed to reaffirm multi-orbit deployment capability of PS4. A new inertial navigation system employing next generation accelerometer was introduced on this mission. PSLV Flight C-36 Remote umbilical fill and drain system was used on fourth stage for the first time reducing the countdown time by one day. Experimental avionics packages were flown bolted to fourth stage including miniaturized advanced inertial navigation system minions, Navic-based positioning system, Vikram processor and new lithium-ion-based power system. A video imaging system was also on board, consisting of five cameras which captured and live-streamed various staging events. <laughs> PSLV Flight C-37 PSLV C-37 was launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota Shah, carrying a payload of 104 satellites from six countries around the world Israel, Kazakhstan, the Netherlands, Switzerland, United Arab Emirates and the United States. Of the 104 satellites, 96 were CubeSats made by Planet Labs and Spire Global, two San Francisco companies adding to their commercial satellite constellations. The launch set the record for the largest number of spacecraft ever launched on a single rocket. The previous record was held by Russia, which in 2014 catapulted 37 satellites in a single launch, using a modified intercontinental ballistic missile. Launch failures IRS-1E 
On 20 September 1993 a PSL VD-1, the first developmental flight rocket, failed during launch of IRS-1E. A significant attitude disturbance occurred during second to third stage separation, causing the attitude control command to exceed its maximum value. Because of the programming error in the pitch control loop of the digital autopilot software in the guidance and control processor, the required reversal of command polarity did not take place, causing the pitch loop to become unstable, resulted in loss of attitude control and failure to achieve orbit. The attitude control disturbance was traced to failure of one of the retro rockets designed to pull the burnt second stage away from the third stage. The vehicle crashed into the Bay of Bengal 700 seconds after takeoff. IRS-1D On 29 September 1997 a PSL VC-1 rocket failed during launch of IRS-1D. Anomalous interaction between the primary and secondary pressure regulators of the fourth stage caused a reduction in propellant flow and thrust after 250 seconds of burn time. As a result, the fourth stage was shut down by a software override timer after burning 435 seconds, before reaching the target orbit or depleting propellant. The injection velocity was 140 m per second low, resulting in an orbit of 301 by 823 km instead of the planned 817 km circular SSO. Initially, a leak of helium gas from one of the components in the fourth stage was suspected, similar to recent Long March 3rd launch failure, but later ruled out. Resulting orbit was partially corrected using satellites on board thrusters, thereby raising the perigee to 737 km, while the apogee remained at 821 km. <laughs> Apollo 11 PSLVC-39 carrying IRNSS-1H was launched on 31 August 2017 at 1330 UTC from second launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center After about 203 seconds of flight payload fairing failed to be jettisoned as planned. Despite completing rest of the flight with all other systems working as expected, with about 1,000 kg of extra weight orbit achieved was 6,554.8 by 167.4 km at 19.18 degrees inclination well below the intended 284 by 20,650 km at 19.2 degrees inclination. After fourth stage engine cut off IRNSS-1H separation occurred, leaving it adrift inside the closed payload fairing. This was second event of total failure in PSLV launch history. <laughs> <laughs> launch statistics Launch <laughs> <laughs> history <laughs> 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 As of April 2019 the PSLV has made 47 launches, with 44 successfully reaching their planned orbits, two outright failures and one partial failure, yielding a success rate of 94% or 96% including the partial failure. All launches have occurred from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, known before 2002 as the Sriharikota Range <laughs> Future launches <laughs>